Zach Greinke, who made his seventh opening day start. That was against Minnesota. He got into some trouble early, but got out of the bases loaded in the first inning. He ended up retiring 10 of 11 and then was charged with a couple of runs in the sixth. George Springer back out in right field. He was the DH last night. Had him reaching. Shallow center field and Jackie Bradley Jr. is there for the out. And up comes Bo Bichette. Got him with a breaking ball away. You know he he's able to hide the ball well and whenever you know you got a guy got six pitches and a, and a ton of experience behind him 20 years. You're going to get some outs like that. Runner in first with two out for Dalton Varsho. Here's a ball lined into center. That's a base hit for Varsho. Guerrero is going to stop at second. So back to back two out singles. And that brings up a guy off to a terrific start this season. Matt Chapman who was 11 for 19. 2 1 pitch is hit in the air right center field well hit Bradley on the dead run to the track reaches up makes the catch bangs into the wall and saves at least two runs Jackie Bradley tracking it all the way and Alec Manoa is looking to rebound after that opening day start in St. Louis he didn't pitch very well and got hit five runs on nine hits over three and a third and for his young career he's generally bounced back pretty well after he's had a rocky start. And this is in the air to left center field. Hanging up a long long time and the catch will be made by Whit Merrifield one down. And a walk a base runner here for the Royals with two down in the bottom of the first. <laughs> hey, it's Chewbacca. <laughs> Look at him. Pasquatch just took a walk. You see the C on his jersey there. We talked about him being named captain on opening day. Not nearly as common as it is in, in hockey of course. Fly ball to right field. Springer over to his left has room and that is the inning. Nick called up from Omaha just prior to the game tonight. Kyle Isbell has been placed on the paternity list. And a slider at the knees to get him for strike three call. Well we mentioned how Alec worked on his slider in his bullpen session between starts and this is a good one. Slider bounced to third long throw coming for Chapman good stretch at the other end by Guerrero and the inning is over as Manoa sets down the Royals in order in the bottom of the second and George Springer at the plate against the righty Zach Granke the pitch lined into left field a base hit Springer has the third single for the Blue Jays well, Blue Jays have been playing up the middle and going the opposite way so much so there's the first out of the inning brings up Vladimir Guerrero Junior 1 1 pitch. Hit on the ground toward third base. Lopez has it over to second for one. Relay to first is in time. Double play. And that ends the inning. A hit batter and a walk. And two on, nobody out for Bobby Wood Jr. And now again the 0 2, and he gets him swinging for out number one. Nice good high fastball there. So that's a big first out. Here's MJ Melendez. Hit a fly ball to deep right his first time up. There go the runners. And the pitch is hit to right field. The catch made by Springer. The throw coming into second base. And that is a double play. So the Royals end up getting nothing out of it as the Blue Jays turn a double play to retire the side. Vinny has lovingly been nicknamed Pasquatch. That Pasquatch will kind of make an appearance and roam across the top of the building. He's definitely embracing that nickname. And Vinny takes another walk. And now all eyes turn to the Royals Hall of Fame. The door opens, the Sasquatch has emerged, and he's roaming around. <laughs> I like it. And a swing and a miss. Manoa gets out of it after the leadoff walk, and there's no score at the end of four. Alec Manoa has not allowed a single hit. So Kevin Biggio, the number nine hitter, left-handed hitting second baseman, runner at first, one out. Junior with a very awkward backhand flip. He gets it to Massey in time. And Merrifield is out at second base. That's going to hook. It Hopefully. stayed up into the corner. Prado running along the wall, and he's got it. Hooked right into his glove. How about that? So Lopez replaces Reyes as the runner at first base with one down. And Jackie Bradley Jr. will stand in. That got more of the plate. Bradley strokes it into right field. Nicky Lopez makes the turn. 
And the Royals will have runners at the corners with one out. Jackie Bradley Jr. comes through on an 0-2 pitch. It's time for Jr. to put him on the board. And this one is popped up shallow right. Biggio, Guerrero, and it's Biggio making the catch. A fair ball, but a really good play by Biggio, and then a really good throw to the plate as well. So that's a big second out, and now here's MJ Melendez. And the one two on the way swing it a miss at a fastball up and out of the zone and Manoa gets out of it stranding a couple of runners. Well that's back to back base hits and now runners on the corners with one out for the very dangerous Matt Chapman. Sharply hit but right at the second baseman Massey but safe at first as the throw short hops Pasquantino. And the Blue Jays get the first run of the ball game. Boy, that was a bad play by Bobby Witt Jr. He had plenty of time because the ball was hit so hard. He got there in plenty of time, didn't have to do it off balance. He could have drugged that back foot there and came around and set his feet and made a better throw. And a swing and a miss as he strikes out Reyes. Two down. So the last start for Manoa opening day snapped a streak of 39 consecutive starts where he had gone five or more innings. Ground ball right side. Biggio's got it. And the inning is over. Seven scoreless innings for Alec Manoa tonight. Vladimir Guerrero faces Clark, who worked the seventh inning. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., deep right field. And it's gone. The first home run of the season for Guerrero is a rocket to right and makes it two to nothing. When you're as strong as Vladdy, you know you hit it hard enough to knock it out of the ballpark, and it wasn't over by much, but boy, he put a swing on that one. The double for Varsho. Here's Matt Chapman. There's a base hit into left for Chapman. Varsho had to break back to the bag to make sure it got through. He's heading home, and he's in there safely. Showing his speed and base running ability again. It's an RBI single for Chapman, and it is three to nothing. Blue Jays trying to make it a third win of the season and give Jordan Romano his third save. One down, one on. Three nothing lead for the Blue Jays. And he got him. 96 on the corner for out number two. Good fastball right on the outside corner, and Olivares couldn't pull the trigger. Now another pinch hitter, Hunter Dozier, comes up for Nick Prado. First pitch swinging he pops it up into shallow center. Bo Bichette is back and the Blue Jays win it. Alec Manoa with a great outing the bullpen does its job another big night for Dalton Varsho Vladimir Guerrero Junior has three hits including his first home run of the season.